You have seen me yesterday trading the non-farm payroll, scalping the EURUSD and making an instant $438 of profit. Well, remember guys yesterday the account came to be $3,999.70 and I thought alright so let me just push it more to make it $4,000. I have ended up losing around $50 of the account and I had to stop trading for that day. So I'm really curious to know guys, how many of you have been in this scenario where you actually just wanted to increase your account just by $1 only just to have a good number um, by looking and eventually you ended up losing some money. So it's really frustrating, but however, it is the reality of Forex and we have to live with it. Um, I cannot deny the truth. It is the truth, guys, of Forex. It cannot really be profitable every single day. But however, it's really important to remind you that our VIP group of Telegram have done really so well with at least uh, more than 510 pips of profit uh, in our VIP group of Telegram. Of course, that is the total volume of these signals which means we have sent take profit number one uh take profit number two of course we have sent a signal with take profit number one and two and of course number three now those who have opened one trade only they aimed take profit number one only take uh, 20 pips but those who have opened for example three trades instead of closing it with only 20 pips they have ended up closing it with 60 pips of profit because they have opened three trades so some of you guys Made have actually have even made more than 2000 pips of profit with our signals while we actually announced only 510 and that in my opinion is very uh, outstanding and actually really good results from extreme trader as you can see um i'm so proud proud guys of the of the results i wanted to show it to you look at that barely any losses check this out so here third of june barely one loss only of 15 pips which is really nothing at all then also fourth of june only one small loss of 10 pips and then 5th of june we had of course one big loss which, which is 30 pips that is of course big one 15 pips of loss and then again 16th of june 15 pips of loss against all these profits and all these greens then friday was actually a hundred percent in profits so it was definitely a good week for the extreme trader family with more more than 510 pips of profit and even more than that if you have opened many trades so again if you guys have joined the VIP group, please uh, share with us in the comments your experience. Let others to know the uh, real results of extreme trader signals on the VIP group of Telegram. And of course, guys, if you want to join our VIP group of Telegram, you can find uh, the contact details of the uh, in the description below of the video to our support. Contact them today. And hopefully, guys, of course, we will see you there. So let's now begin our weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd but before that please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly share the video and leave a comment if you wish to so yesterday guys again we had the non-farm payroll news uh which actually was really good to the dollar now the dollar is rising and as a result the euro usd is not now what's happening here is uh we have here of course based on the daily chart a clear broken level of a support trend line and right right now here of course we have the bearish breakout candle so meaning the euro usd right now my friends is going to continue the fall eventually what happened here is that we had of course a real level of a resistance as we can see so that is my philosophy in trading forex always look for the real level of a resistance and look at the fake breakouts and then you can open your trades exactly right here at the real level of a resistance so eventually what happened is that the euro usd is indeed respecting this analysis now by moving to the weekly chart however we can notice the same thing and we have here a very good price action in the case of course for a continuation in the fall so euro usd to be short next week now moving to the four hour time frame to identify the best level to start actually selling the spare now let me just tell you guys something here now speaking of real level of a resistance and support and a fake breakouts look at this level of a support right here so right here we actually have some levels of a fake breakouts and a real levels of a support now how can you find them by simply look at the wicks right here or the tails which has been followed later with a bearish breakout candle that actually has failed to become as a new resistance 
So we don't have only have one, we actually have two of them. So right here also, we have another uh, level of a previous support. And right here, we have a bullish breakout candle, another bullish breakout candle. So zero attempts of a resistance trend line right here. So therefore, that my friends can be considered as our real level of a support. And right here, of course, we had the fake breakouts. Now, someone might tell me, but Salah, why don't you think that even this current candle is another fake breakout? Well, the answer is simple, because again, based on the daily chart, we have right here a very strong bearish breakout candle from this level of a support trend line. And that, my friend, is in my opinion, cannot be actually a fake breakout. Most likely what's going to happen next is that the euro UST is going to make a rise again, retesting the broken level of a support trend line, and afterward, it will continue the fall. Not only that, but also right here, of course, we have a resistance trend line, and check this out. So, the same philosophy can work also on the resistance trend lines. So we have a real level of a resistance trend line, a real level of a resistance trend line, and then guess what? A fake breakout, which means the euro USD most likely is going to continue the rise again and respect the same level of the real resistance trend line, and afterwards it will continue the fall. Again, a lot of confirmations on this level, which confirms that we can actually sell the euro USD right here. So back to now to the four hour time frame. So right here, of course, I'm going to apply the Fibonacci retracement just to make sure uh, of the levels. Right here, of course, we had to connect the Fibonacci from the real level of a support trend line, the lower low, to the higher high, the real level of a resistance as well. And as you can see, uh, my support level is matching up with Fibonacci 23.6. And that will be the level where we can actually sell the euro UST after it make a rise for another 28 pips. And of course, if that happens, we will actually be aiming the lowest level of a real support right here exactly at 1.076, which means we will actually be targeting at least 63 pips of profit. We can actually even aim more than that, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we can actually aim the bottom of the uh, key support level right here exactly below Fibonacci 50 at 1.074 targeting at least i think 80 yeah 80 let's say about 90 pips guys so let's say about 90 pips of profit hopefully and a safe zone that shouldn't actually be ranging higher than the previous level of a key resistance right here as we can see right here uh this level of a key resistance which was also a key resistance right here and a previous level of a support so that will be my friends our safe zone which is gonna be ranging for around 42 pips against 90 pips of profit let me know please write the signal for you moving now to the pound usd all right so now for the pound usd also if we look right here guys at the weekly chart another example of a real level of a resistance with a fake breakouts check this out right here so again we have here a real level of a support uh, a resistance sorry and a fake breakout another fake breakout and in the middle and keep in mind we're talking about weekly chart which means each candle represents the whole week, which means for the whole week, the market respected this level of a real resistance. For the next week, it did the same as well. For the next week, it did the same as well, and so on. For almost two months, and then we had here one fake breakout. And now for the last three weeks, the pound UST is still respecting the same level of a real resistance. That's outstanding. And that is actually proving our strategy, guys, here. It's really working very well. So the market is not respecting the level of a fake breakout. No, it respects the real level of a resistance. And that's why our strategy here is the most powerful ones. So again, uh, pound UST is to be shorted for the next week after the appearance of this very clear pin bar. Now, by moving to the daily chart, now we can see another price action indicates that the market will continue the fall. And right here, of course, I want I would like to apply the same uh, strategy of the resistance trend line. So right here, we had, of course, a real level of a resistance trend line, a real level of a resistance trend line, and then a fake breakout, which means if the pound USD is going to ever make a pullback, it will also respect the same level of a real resistance trend line. So moving now to the four hour time frame, right here exactly we can see on the left side, we had of course the key level of a resistance right here exactly at 1.274, which means we can actually expect from the pound UC to make a pullback to another 26 pips and it will be a under a lot of pressure from the resistance trend line plus the resistance right here as well, which is of course the nearest one to that bearish breakout candle. So again, 
pound USD is to be shorted and of course we will be targeting the level of a nearest key support level toward entry which is going to be right here exactly at 1.264 targeting at least let's say around 97 pips of profit and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the previous level of a key resistance at 1.279 ranging for around uh, let's say 48 pips only let's now move to the AUD USD all right, so we had here a major drop, a major drop, everyone, on the AUD USD. Yesterday, the, the pair fell for around uh, 100 pips again. Of course, guys, all these drops that we are recently seeing is, of course, due to the non farm payroll and use on the USD pairs. So, again, uh, without making actually a long story short, what we will do next, guys, if, if actually if we move right here to the weekly chart, we can also notice a very strong price action indicates a continuation in the fall. That was one full red bar candle. And actually, we can see that we, there is no bottom of it. I mean, there is no tail of it, which means the pressure from the sellers is actually very strong and the pair is going to continue the fall. So again, applying the same strategy of the resistance trend line, but with the minor changes that we are going to apply the magic of trend lines. Now, how do we do that? By simply connect the level of a resistance trend line right here, as we can see. And actually what I did right here is connecting the resistance trend line from this lower high to this lower low, just like that. What I will do next is simply drag the same level right here. So right here, I can just place it right there right on the next level or actually the nearest level of a resistance trend line to that bearish breakout candle that is one way to find the very best and decent entries and now by moving to the to the, to the daily chart now we can see it in more details right here exactly so right there exactly actually you know what it's to be honest like right there so right here of course we have the resistance trend line which has been respected as a support trend line right here. It was also a resistance trend line right here with, of course, one and two fake breakouts. So right now what we will do next based on the daily chart is also waiting for the AUDUSD to make a rise again and respects the same level of a resistance trend line. So basically, the analysis is just simply almost the same. Therefore, we have to wait for the market to rise to another 25 pips. And of course, by looking at the left side right here, we can notice that we, of course, had right here a real level of a resistance exactly right there at 0 0.61, which means we have to wait for the market to rise to another let's say about 30 pips targeting of course the real level of a, uh, the nearest level of a real support right here exactly at 0 0.652 which means we will actually look for around um 82 pips of profit hopefully and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the previous level of a key, a key resistance at 0 0.6 um sorry 0 0.665 ranging for around 46 pips only actually we can even make it lower than that i forgot that i'm actually analyzing on the daily chart so based on the daily chart uh it's enough to have a 40 pips of the save zone and 84 pips of profit let me know please write the signal for you moving now to the usd cad so usd cad guys is also rising uh, based on the daily chart, the market not just all, not only broke out from this level of a, a horizontal resistance, but also made a bullish breakout from that level of a resistance trend line. So, based on the daily chart again, we can see it very clear right here. So, as a result, USDCAD is indeed going to continue the rise toward the resistance right here at 1.383. And that is, in my opinion, very clear level because right here, of course, we had a fake breakout. And then again, the real level of a resistance is being respected. Therefore, as a result, USDCAD, after making the bullish breakout from this level of a resistance at 1.374, will continue the rise toward that level of a resistance. So that means that the USDCAD still has about 72 pips more to go. Now, let's now move to the four hour time frame now how can we how can we find the decent and most accurate level to start buying the pair let me just show you guys the trick here so what we, what we will do next is simply draw here a support trend line from this lower low to this higher low what you will do next is simply just drag and move the same line that you have drawn here and just simply place it all the way right here at the nearest level of a key support trend line as well and keep in mind that we have right here a real level of a support trend line, a real level, and then one fake breakout in the middle. Of course, my friends, if this is so, if this sounds confusing to you, please refer to my channel and go to a video called "The Magic of Trend Lines Part One and Part Two. It will explain everything in a brief. 
So now, by determining the support trend line right here, how can we be sure where exactly and accurately we can actually buy the pair? By looking at the, at the level of our previous support right here exactly, to be frankly speaking, it's right there exactly, yes. So right now, my friends, first of all, we do have right here the key level of a resistance, which recently has been broken out from. Second of all, look at the left side also. Right here we have the nearest level of a key support level to that bullish breakout candle. If you guys check this level right here, so we have right here the bullish breakout candle, right? So let's look at the left side to find the nearest level of a support to that bullish breakout candle. Keep looking. Resistance, 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 resistance. I'm looking for a support. Fake breakout resistance resistance support support so that is therefore that is the nearest one to that bullish breakout candle and that in my opinion is going to be the best level to start buying the market of course combining this with the support trend line so therefore uh most likely there is a lot of pressure on the usd cad right here so therefore buying the usd cad at 1.373 targeting the highest level of a key resistance of 103 pips of profit and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than the previous level of a key resistance right here also at 1.369 so ranging for around 40 pips i would say or 39 pips against 103 pips of profit moving now to the pound gpy Oi, wait a minute, I forgot to write the take profit level for the USD CAD. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, take profit 1.383. All right, so now moving to the pound GPY. All right, so now what's next with this pair, which actually has been confusing to me. Uh, last signal actually has failed, unfortunately. But now we have a clear reading on the USD, oh, sorry, on the pound GPY. But again, before we continue, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly share the video. Guys, I really hope we can reach at least 300 likes on this video. Hopefully we can do that together. So now, based on the daily chart, we can see here a very clear, uh, actually, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Um, I have always been talking about the real level of a support, real level of a support, then a fake breakout. And recently, the real level of a support will be respected. That's the reason I call it a real level of a support, because um, many of the new traders, they will think that the support is right here. Wrong! It's right there. That is the real level of a support. Meanwhile, the, uh, those two twin candles right here representing only a fake breakouts. So moving now to the four hour time frame, look at that. We can see the same thing happening right here. Again, a real level of a support has been respected, a fake breakout number one, and then a fake breakout number two. And right there lies the real level of a support. So therefore, I would highly recommend to buy the pound GPY exactly from the same level of a real support, ignoring all the fake breakouts, and hopefully the pound GPY is going to continue the rise toward the real level of a resistance. Not only that, but also if we look right here at the support trend line, check this out. So right here, of course, we had a real level of a support trend line, a fake breakout, and a real level of a support trend line. So therefore, the pound GPY has a chance actually to still respect that level of a support trend line and afterward continue the rise. So waiting for the pair to fall to another 41 pips, targeting, of course, the highest level of a real resistance at 200.47, which means we will look for around 143 pips of profit on the pound GPY. Meanwhile, uh, the safe zone shouldn't be ranging lower than the previous level of a real support as well at 198.314, ranging for around 66 pips only. Now, finally, moving to the UST CHF. But before that, guys, I really have always to remind you about our free group of Telegram. This is, guys, our free group of Telegram. You should actually join this group to receive any updates about the signals that you are receiving in this video. And, guys, again, I have to warn you in every video, please be aware of the scammers who actually have been impersonating us using our name and logo uh, to fool others. I have seen at least 11 of them, 11 scammers pretending to be extreme trader and they are ask, actually asking the victims to send them funds to trade and they are promising a hundred percent of a return in just one month guys that is a scamming we never do that in extreme trader we never do that and we will never actually ever ask you to send us money to trade it for you please be aware that this is the real and authentic extreme trader group on telegram and you can find the link in the description below of this video. So please do not search Extreme Trader on Telegram and instead just 
um, copy uh, the, the address that you, you are seeing right here or you can actually find the link in the description below of this video just please avoid the scammers who are pretending to be extreme trader of course due to the high uh, winning ratio that we have in extreme trader there is a lot of scammers pretending to be us and i believe that if we are not good then nobody will imprison at our uh, name and pretend to be extreme trader the only reason they are doing that is they want to use our successful uh, history with the signals and the reason um this is the reason, of course, why they are actually using our name and logo. There is no other reason. Anyway, let's now talk about the UCCHF. So now, guys, based on the UC, based on the weekly chart, uh, UCCHF has indeed respected the same level of a real support as we can see right here, which was also a previous level of a resistance. So UCCHF has actually retested already the real level of a support at 0 0.890 and made a rise for about 84 pips. Now, what's next with this pair? I believe that the pair right now is going to continue the rise toward the resistance right here at 0 0.904. So meaning the UCCHF still has around 87 pips more to go. Moving now to the daily chart. So again, on the daily chart, what you can see right here is one uh, drop happened. However, on Friday, of course, we had the we had uh, the bullish engulfing candle, and it happened, of course, due to the uh, non-farm payroll news. So again, that level of a real support, as we can see right here, has indeed been respected. So again, I mean, we can just see the same thing that we have seen on the weekly chart based on the daily on the daily chart as well. So now moving to the four hour time frame now based on the four hour time frame we can see clearly that we had right here a broken level of a resistance exactly at 0 0.892 and that in my opinion gonna be the best level to start buying this pair again after it make a drop for another 36 pips most likely the USDCHF will actually retest the broken level of a resistance uh, level right here and afterward it will continue the rise so I think it's really a, a very simple and basic analysis. I mean, we don't actually have to analyze it deeper than that. Um, of course, targeting the highest level of a real resistance, which is the nearest one to our entry as 0 0.903, which means we will actually be targeting 102 pips of profit and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than the bottom of the support right here at 0 0.888, which means it will be ranging for around 41 pips against 102 pips of profits. And there goes your signals, my friends, for the UC pairs for the upcoming week. And of course, tomorrow I will talk about the gold because I have a lot to talk about this piece of whatever it is. And of course, guys, don't forget to try our VIP group of te Telegram. Seeing is believing. Don't listen to the haters. Try it yourself to see the results by yourself, guys. We have really improved a lot recently and I'm so proud of our progress. So again... Don't forget, guys, also that the prices here is really affordable. I mean, it's the cheapest in the market. We actually ask only 50 euro per month for these signals, which actually can make you a lot of profits. And we have seen members who have actually made over a thousand dollars in just one single day using our signals. So I believe it's really cheap and actually it's very affordable for everybody. So until then, my friends, I hope uh, that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.